Dem leaders, Women's March founders under fire over Farrakhan connections. More than a week after Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan delivered a blistering speech in Chicago in which he said powerful Jews are my enemy and white folks are going down, calls are growing louder for Democratic leaders and Women's March founders with ties to denounce him or step down. Among those in the line of fire are several members of Congress and Women's March co-chairwoman Tumika Mallory, who attended the Nation of Islam's National Convention late last month. There, Farrakhan delivered the controversial address and Mallory, who has expressed admiration for him in the past, posted Instagram photos from the Chicago event. Here's the problem, Farrakhan does have an audience and still has widespread popularity among his devoted followers, Jonathan Greenblatt, the national director of the Anti-Defamation League, wrote in a blog published on Thursday. Because of Farrakhan's reach and influence and his broad name recognition and something like celebrity status, some public officials, politicians, and hip-hop entertainers are still willing to meet with him, still willing to have their pictures taken with him. They seemingly have a blind spot when it comes to his anti-Semitism, he added. President Obama was recently criticized when a photograph of him with Farrakhan, taken before his 2008 election, surfaced. The photographer said he buried the picture on orders from TTHE Congressional Black Caucus, which believed it would hurt Obama's election chances. Seven members of the Congressional Black Caucus have had ties with Farrakhan, according to the Daily Caller, which said it had reviewed videos and witness accounts to create the tally. California Reps Maxine Waters and Barbara Lee Illinois Rep Danny Davis Indiana Rep Andre Carson, Minnesota Rep Keith Ellison, New York Rep Gregory Meeks and Texas Rep Al Green have all attended meetings with Farrakhan while in Congress, according to photos, videos, and witness accounts of the meetings reviewed by the news outlet. The report prompted the Republican Jewish Coalition RJC, to call on all seven House Democrats to resign. In an effort to defuse the outrage, Mallory defended herself on social media as being against all types of bigotry. This is a threat. It seems I am not being clear, she tweeted. I am and always have been against all forms of racism. I am committed to ending anti-black racism, anti-Semitism, homophobia and transphobia. This is why I suggest